All right, guys, here we go. Let's replace some drums. Before you do this, though, set up an alternative safe. Go do that, right? I'm going to do that with you. Project alternatives, new alternative. I'm going to call this replacing drums. And then I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit save. Boom. OK, so now that I have that, I'm going to click on a uh, bottom snare. I'm going to select bottom snare in my drums. And notice when I did that, all of the regions lit up in the drum stack, right? Why is that? Because it's grouped. So we need to ungroup the bottom snare. So click on that track, go here, and then put no group. Okay, once you do that, click on the track again. And now you'll notice that just the bottom snare region is highlighted. Once you do that, we're gonna go up here to track. You're gonna click and you're gonna go down to where it says replace or double drum tracks. Okay, and we're gonna hit that. Okay, now you're gonna get this right here. Before I explain to you how to replace the drums, I wanna show you um, a very important thing here. So you already know that in a region, the loud, the biggest, the bigger the wave file, I'm sorry, the bigger the wave file, the louder, right? the louder so you'll see that you have these small waves right here this is actually bleed from the drum kit and this big one here is going to be the actual snare hit right because this is the microphone is pressed to or it's assigned to this bottom snare so you'll notice down here that logic created a midi track right and you'll notice that look at the notes look at the midi notes it's hitting exactly where the drummer hit the snare. Same thing here. See that? Same thing here and so on. Now let's just say there's something called ghost notes and it's just like when the drummer um, bounces the stick off of the snare without hitting it real hard. It's like a pop, pop, pop. It's like a little da -da, right? It's like a little light little tap thing. I don't know why I did the sound effects. Go ahead and laugh. Anyway, so let's just say that these were ghost notes and not bleed. And you needed to hear that, right? Look down here in the MIDI section. And then I'm going to go up to here, relative threshold. It's at minus 10 right now. If I click this and drag down, look what happens in the MIDI section. See how it starts to add notes? Because you're lowering that ceiling. So you're telling Logic, I want you to, I want you to put more notes on the slightest little hits. In this case, we're going to keep it at minus 10 so that we only hear the snare hits all right once you do that just go up to where it says instrument click on that make sure you're on snare right because if you're on toms it's going to show you toms if you're on kick it's going to show you kick all that kind of stuff all right so we want to make sure that this is set up for snare also make sure that your bottom snare plus is highlighted all right so again make sure this is instrument says snare boom and now look let's just say that i wanted to uh check out some of these snares right you don't just obviously you don't want to go with the first snare you want to audition some of these so if you highlight like i'm going to select snare 10 right and then which, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up here to preview i'm going to click on that So see, you're hearing a snare. It's this It's this snare right here, right? So if I hit preview, I'm gonna go down this line right here and you're gonna notice how the snare sounds are gonna change. So hit preview and we're just gonna go down. See that? So you can actually audition the snares. In this case, I'm gonna go with uh, snare 20, I think. Let me hit preview. Uh, 21 one more time preview okay so go ahead and audition all 33 of these snares find the one that you like when you're done and you find the one you like you're going to go right here and you're going to hit okay and by the way there are a couple different ways to do this i'm going to show you the two ways that i normally do this so again once you're done hit okay boom so anyway pause the video right here go try this and then come back All right, welcome back guys. 
So before we move on, before we go any further, let's double click on the MIDI region. And you're going to notice that all of these MIDI notes are blue. And you know by now that the lower the velocity, the more the color changes. In this case, when I, when I selected this snare right here, look, the velocity is just 22. We need this to be much louder. So we're going to hit Command A. That's going to highlight all of the MIDI notes. And we're going to take the velocity up to, say, 114. There we go. Now look, now it's red. Right? Uh, I know you learned this a while back, so if, uh, if that tripped you out, then good. You just relearned something. So cool. We have our velocity at 114. Now we're going to close the piano roll. And look, I'm going to bring back, by the way, this automatically mutes the original. So I'm going to hold control. I click on the region, hold control, hit M. That's going to bring back my original bottom snare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo that. And I'm going to solo the bottom snare and I'm going to hit play and I'm going to hear both snares. I'm going to hear the original and the new one. That new one is really loud, right? Let's just say that I decide, you know what? Uh, I like that snare, but I'm not crazy about it. I want to change the snare. So here's what you can do. You click on here, right? Then you're going to go to where it says drum kit. Make sure you have your bottom snare plus selected. You can go to drum kit. Uh, let's go to SoCal. These are all different drums. All of these are different drum kits. Okay. I'm going to go to SoCal. And that's see, that's going to bring up the SoCal drum kit. It's not going to rename it. See that, which is beautiful. Then I'm going to open that kit up. And when you open that kit up, you're going to see the kit pieces. Here's the snare. So when you click on the snare, look what happens. Now, all of a sudden you see the three snares that come with this kit. So this one with the black one is number one. Blue is number two. And uh, gold is number three. In this case, I think I like um, snare number one. So I'm going to keep that. one. Here's another really cool feature about this. You can go and tune that snare right so look if i go to tune and say i wanted it to sound have more of a higher pitch like a piccolo snare i could tune this way up and now look see that pretty cool or i can tune it down in this case i'm going to tune this down to like 140 so it's got a lower tone right so now that i've done that i'm going to close the drum kit and I'm going to listen to both snares again, bottom, the original bottom and the new. And I'm actually going to lower this volume on the new one to say minus 5.2 dB. OK, now uh, let's take a listen. I like that because it has that snare has a little more body. Uh, what we want to do next, what I would typically do next is I would go to top snare, click on that. I'm going to turn the group off on that. And then I'm going to play all three snares together. So original top snare, I mean, bottom snare, top snare and the new, the new quote unquote bottom snare. Now I'm going to listen to all three of these snares together. Here's without the new one. Here's with the new one. See what I'm saying? So we just added a ton of life to the drums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new snare. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to name this um, new snare dub. So this is just my new snare double or whatever. And then I'm going to drag it under top snare. OK, now that I have all three of these the way I want them. I'm going to go back to bottom snare for now and I'm going to go back to group, put it back in group one. I'm going to put the top snare back in group one and I'm going to go down to the new snare and I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to blend this. So I'm going to blend this snare with the rest of the drum kit and then I'll put it in a group. That's what I want you to do next. So pause the video, 
go do that. Once you've got your snare that you want in there, tune it. And then um, after that, put these back in the group, the originals. Take the new one and blend it. Mix it in. When you get to a point where you're happy with the way it's mixed in, group it. Hi, welcome back. So I went ahead and grouped my new snare with everything else. And there it is. It's in green. I'm going to make a little cut right here. Bang. And uh, yeah, so now I'm good to go. Let me cut this other little green part out. It's going to bother me. All right, cool. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, press Command C, and again, just go to red so that everything is colored red. And by the way, if your stack is not, if your numbers aren't colored like your regions are, just click on right here, click on the top, hold shift, click there. You know that selects everything. Hover over one of the numbers, press control, go down to where it says uh, assign track color and make it red. So now everything is red, color coded. Y'all know I like my drums to be red. Everything is red. There you go. So anyway, that's how you replace a kick, I mean a, a snare drum. I am not going to have a tutorial for how to replace a kick drum because you know how to replace drums now. So go do that. I'm expecting you to have your snare drum and your kick drum replaced. All right, y'all go have fun.